everyone. So, as you know, today is February 27th, 2015. And I've posted on my Instagram and I've written about it in my blog. And you can see right here, I have a big old red X on my hand. Some people know what it's for and some people don't. Basically, it's to um, let others know that I am against slavery and I'm part of the end it movement. Because today, February 27th, is actually Shine a Light on Slavery Day. Every year it's the exact same day, and every year you're supposed to do the exact same thing, which is draw a big old red X on your hand and show your support for this. Um, now I read about, a, a writ, ugh, I wrote about it in a blog post that I posted today, and I will link it on, down below of where you can find it, but I just wanted to do a video about it because it is very... I guess I'm very passionate about it recently, and so I decided just to give a little bit more information. So, and if you don't want to read about it, you can watch this video. So the Indit Movement is basically this huge organization that includes freedom fighters, which is what we are. We help. We try to fight for the freedom of others. If you didn't get any. So basically, what the Indit Movement and the freedom fighters do is they help abolish sex trafficking, forced labor, and exploitation of basic human rights, which is basically slavery in every which way. So what I'm doing, what a whole bunch of other people are doing, are uh, when you go, when you want to speak out about it, you use the hashtag end it movement, and it's on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, they have their own website, don't know about YouTube, but I can try to find out. And basically, you go to the website and you create a, you, you build a team with you and 27, 17 other people, one of those numbers, other people. And you get this team going and everyone adds more members to your team. And so you grow and you grow and you grow and you donate and donate and donate. And this money is not just used <coughs> a couple bucks, it's used for this and a couple bucks to do that. It all goes toward the cause. They go to awareness, they go to prevention, it goes to rescuing, it goes to restor restoration. Because even though we rescue these, these these people who are being forced as slaves, they're not 100% better once they're away from the people who had forced them to do stuff. There's so much emotional and spiritual and physical damage afterwards that they need all the love and support they can get from people like us and people who... Because I don't necessarily see doing actions behind the scenes, but they know that they're there. Because if they weren't, then they would. These people would still be slaves. So I know this video kind of rambles on, but this is very passionate to me because recently I started getting into more into it more often, and it's gonna be more up on my blogs and my channels and my videos and all that. So. I just wanted to do a quick video, especially since today is Shine and Lounge Day every day. But what what's big is that you shouldn't just make it a, a one day thing. You should make it an everyday thing. It shouldn't just be February 27th. Let's get the entire world to draw, draw X's on our hands to our support. It should be tomorrow. It should be the next day. It should be next week, next month, next year, until there are no more slaves anywhere in this entire world. Because right now, and the numbers are counting, there are over 27 million people who are still slaves in America, in, in Europe, in Asia, in every other continent and country you can think of. And it's just, I guess it's so sad for me to think about that I live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Because, and then these people who aren't free, I take something that... I take for granted my freedom that seems so normal and I don't think about it at all. These people are dying and they're dreaming for freedom and that we get every single day because of the fact that we come from the land of the free and the home of the brave. Three types of slavery, there's bonded labor, there's forced labor, and there's human trafficking. Human trafficking is more known, I guess, around the world because it happens so much more often than we realize, but it is a type of slavery and that does it's not just the only type. Um, bonded labor, um, they're, they're born into slavery and they're forced to repay a loan. Sometimes from generations past, like the great-great-great-grandparents. 
and they're indebted to these people and sometimes they don't get they don't get to live the life like they should. And then forced labor is probably something I guess it's kind of in the name you're forced to do something against the will under the punishment with no pay and it's it's not as common around here but it does exist and it is a form of slavery. So before I get to a ramble on and on and on and on, uh, I'm going to end the video here. But don't let this be the only time you hear about signing line of slavery. Don't let it be one day out of the year. Go join a team. Go start a movement in your hometown. Go draw a red X on your hand. Every day you have to remind yourself that while you are free, there are people out there who are not free. So do not take your freedom for granted because... It's what I've been doing for the past 19 years until I realized that I have something that most people don't. So, if you want to join, I will leave the links to the Indent Movement to build a team, invite friends, family, people you don't know to donate, and let's, let's end slavery. Let's be a generation that is not known for being into our phones. Be the generation to end slavery. So don't just sit there and be idle. Stand up, make some noise, and go crazy. <laughs> so if you like this video, if you want to spread the word, go ahead. Hit share, hit like, hit subscribe, whatever you want. Make the difference today that should have been made yesterday. Bye, y'all.